Welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can do a JSON processing in Java uh, in the client or the server. But I'm just going to demonstrate some of the APIs. And we are going to use this package for JSON processing. It has a Java API for JSON processing. It's called JSON P. And uh, you can go to the website or I will actually add it to my uh, website if you search for Java related uh, any videos you will see the Java API for JSON processing link in case you're interested in using this API. So let's get started. Uh, let me share with you quickly the code. So basically I have an input to this class called parse a string which we want to pass and it's going to be for the processing I'm going to use something uh, from this library called Java x.json the link which I already showed you. So I'm importing some of the uh, objects uh, packages that are needed. So basically what you start is first you create a reader json.createReader and you can give it the string uh, as part of the string reader give it the string and this will create a reader. Once you have the reader you can just uh, read the object and we create something called the json object and then you can easily iterate over this object and all the key value pairs and the way to do it is basically simple is the key is going to be the json object dot key set will give you the key and you can get the value like this object dot get key and here i'm printing the key value players and in between i'm also getting the value type which is maintained for this json value so you can see that it's able to parse different values for various uh, uh, data types that it is parsing so that's an example and at the very end I'm also printing out something where I call how to build a JSON uh, uh, using the JSON builder I'm calling this method called build and the way it is doing is is basically adding uh, JSON dot create object builder it's creating that object and I'm adding the key value pairs last name Gaur first name Yogesh and I say build and it can return model to string uh, as a string and I can just print it out. So let's just say if I run this program you should be able to see that it's doing the JSON processing. Uh, I'm going to uh, put some JSON in this uh, input box and I'm copying it from anywhere but you can use any JSON so I got it from JSON editor online and once you have the JSON you can kind of send it uh, to the server but uh, the trick is to see what uh, is happening in the processing uh, window here so here you can see the first item it says the key is array and the value is one two three and this is the type that was inferred from this uh, value dot value type boolean is true null is null number is one two three here is an object and a string and here is the last case where we had built a model to string with the key value pairs and here you can see the json so if you compare actually the actual json you'll see that this is matching up pretty good uh, here you can see the first thing i had was an array so this is an array and the value of the array is item or one two three then you go boolean true and all that and object is this so this is actually a pretty quick way uh, to process json and hopefully you like it and uh, thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day